It all started when I was 10, on my way to my first big competition. I was sitting in a car, and I remember exactly what I felt. I was so nervous that I couldn't eat. And when I was trying to eat a banana, forgetting some energy, I almost vomited. I just wanted to sleep. My eyes refused to be open. I told myself, Ori, <laughs> why? Why are you doing this to yourself? You could be in your house, playing the computer, playing with your friends, so why? Why you choose to be here? I even prayed to God that we would get stuck in traffic so I would miss my fight. <laughs> well, guess what? In the end, we arrived on time to Telmon City. And by the way, until today, when I hear the name Telmon, I get chills. <laughs> so we went inside the hall, and I saw all the other judo fighters preparing for their contest. I started to run. I felt like my legs weighed 1,000 kilos. <laughs> When I heard my name on the speakers, I knew that this is the time to fight. I was nervous. Too nervous. Many people tell me, come on, Judah is only five minutes long. It's not so hard. <laughs> but I'm telling you, they're wrong. Because during those five minutes, your heart rate races to 200 beats per minute. You lose feelings in your arms and legs, and sometimes your visions go black from all the effort of fighting. With all that, you must stay calm, make the right decisions, and beat your opponent, or else face the shame of losing in front of your coach and your family. That sounds like a lot of pressure, huh? <laughs> so I won the first fight, but it wasn't so strong. Then I lost the second, meaning I was out from the, from the tournament. The co competition was over. To be honest, I was relieved. On the way back home, I, f I felt ashamed. I felt like I don't belong to this sport. I told myself, I mean, this is not my style, this is not me. Many people from the judo said, Ori is a talented judo player, but he's also a quitter. I was insulted hearing this sentence over and over again. But come on, to be honest, it made sense. It made sense because I lost big competitions all the time. It happened when I was 12, when I was 15, when I was 20, and even three years ago when I was competing in the world champion in Rio, but not that Rio, the other Rio, I trained a lot for this event. I felt in the best shape of my life, running, weights, judo. I won the first fight, then I had to face with a big challenge. Mamadov from Azerbaijan, he ranked first in the world, and it was my chance to prove all those coaches wrong. The fight started, and I felt so strong. I hold him like he was a kid. He didn't know what to do. I even threw him twice by Yuko, which meant 20 points for me. He was helpless. The time showed one minute to the end, and then I told myself, wow, I'm going to beat the number one judo player in the world. Then suddenly I start scared, because I've never been at these positions. I always want the average judokas. That's when negative feelings began to creep in, slowly at first, and then quickly, until I lost my mind. It was like he smelled my feelings, so he threw me hard and gained the leading points. Judo is like a jungle. The moment you show weakness, you're done. With 30 seconds to the end, it was my last chance to throw him back. So I ran toward him angry, I grabbed his judogi, lifted him up with all my might, and snap, I broke my wrist. I was the loser, again. As I was lying in the hospital, I watched on TV as my opponent won the final match. Mamadov became the world champion. I couldn't believe it happened. I was lying there with a broken hand. It was my chance. I was leading until the end. How did I let it go? I'm telling you, at that moment, a lot of tears. On the way back home, I took a piece of paper and a pen, and I wrote my feelings. I wrote, I'm not going to be a loser anymore. I'm going to change my life, and I'm going to show everyone how to do it, how, how I'm going to do it. So I kept writing, because writing helped me to explore my emotions, and here's what I discovered. I can be a sensitive guy, but still maintain focus without letting my emotions control me. How did I do this? So first, I have to be patient, because it's taking time to change. Second, I told myself over and over again that my feelings are natural because probably all the other judo fighters feel fear and doubts. It's okay to feel that way, 
When I feel fear and doubt, I train myself to control it. The third, and maybe the most important thing I did, was accept myself as a sensitive guy I will always be. When I feel pressure, I'm not hard on myself. I'm saying, okay, Ori, maybe today I feel a little weak. It's okay. Just do your best. So, I found out what made me calm, and then I realized that when I'm not nervous, I can focus on winning. That's when something incredible happened. I start winning more. When I arrived to the Olympic Village in Rio, I saw all the athletes look emotional and nervous. You could see it in their faces, but I felt completely present and calm. The 12th of August was a special day for me. Eight o'clock in the morning, I woke up. I went to the mirror, and I told myself, Ori, today is your day. Today, I'm going to give everything you have, no matter what. I wanted this medal so bad. The bus arrived, and remember the feelings I had when I was 10 on my way to Tel Mond? Guess what? Same feelings were there. What was different is that now I have the tools how to manage those, fo those feelings and focus on winning. So in the competition, I won three fights, lost in the semi-final, and then it was my last chance to bring an Olympic medal. Backstage, I was looking at my Cuban opponent in the eyes, and I felt like the entire country of Israel is on my shoulders. But I also felt motivated, because 10 minutes from now, and I can change my whole life, I can be an Olympic medalist. So as you all know, it was a tough fight, but I won the title, and I was so happy. I felt like in a dream. Look, three years ago, I was in a hospital in Rio with a broken hand. Now, I'm the most happiest person also in Rio. The first word I said right after the match to the TV news were, well, today I overcome all over my fears and doubts. So here I am, always a son. I'm actually a big guy, as you can see. <laughs> 193 centimeters tall, 125 kilograms, and now you know my look is not the whole me. I'm actually a sensitive person, and I'm feeling a lot of strong emotions all the time. But in my life, I discovered that if I connect to those emotions and embrace them, I can be successful. The word judo means the gentle way in Japanese. This is my way, and I hope you make it your way too. Thank you so much. <laughs>